Yes. I beat you. <laughs> was that the official? That was. Howdy do, here we are again, again. Welcome back, welcome back. Episode 22. 22. Tutu. <laughs> it's a tutu. It's a tutu special. It is a tutu special. Yeah, man. Who's our guest today, Monty? Well, it's coming into Thanksgiving season, so we've got the, our favorite turkey on our board. Our favorite today. turkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. Justin Walden is going to hang out with us today. And uh, we're going to learn about <laughs> Jay Wall. That, that fiddling sensation. Uh, he's a fiddling fool. He's a fiddling fool. Played fire yes, that he thing. Is, man. Yep. How old is he? Twenty-seven. Really? That old? I think so. Hmm. Huh. You'd never know, would you? No. No. He's so young at heart. He's so young at heart. Yeah. Well put. Well put, <laughs> man. Woo wee. Cre- shall we creditize? Roll. Nobody gives the finger like you, honey. I give the best finger. Do it again. Do it again for me. Yeah. <laughs> Wind her up. Wind her up. Let her roll. <laughs> I do want to get shirts that say, hey, hey. Yeah. That'd be cool. You know, Cosby did that, though, with, with Fat Albert. He did. Hey, hey, well, he had three Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. We can, yeah, we, do that. We, we can show the Def Leppard guys and just say, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, we won't get in trouble at all. No. <laughs> we'll just make them up for ourselves. Yeah. And for the Cast Creek crew. It's, 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 it doesn't matter anymore. It's Wild there West, There are no man. rules it's anymore. It's the Wild West. Yeah. Nobody gives a rip about nothing there's, anymore. There's no, I mean, they're trying no to respect. do... respect. Trying to do away with intellectual property anyway. That's right. Oh, here we go. There's no respect for anything. Go. No, nobody pays for music. Anything. <laughs> graceless, graceless age, man. It's just... Unreal. This is grumpy old man talking. Yeah. It's just getting worse every day. Can't believe it. The BS. Yep. And the worst of it's from our leaders. Our leaders. What a freaking circus. Anyway. Get it. How much you got, more time? We you got, got more time, We buddy. got more time? Yeah. It's ludicrous. <laughs> ludicrous. <laughs> That we, the taxpayers, are paying for all of this BS circus dung pile that's going on in our freaking capital. Unbelievable. <laughs> and not just our capital. It's, it's every... Look at California again. <laughs> they don't care. Oh, go ahead and pee on the street. It's all right. Solicit sex. We don't care. That's in San Francisco, right? Well, for now. Yeah. But with good old Gavin in this, <laughs> you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Might as well just make it statewide. Yes. Who cares? Sure. Don't care anymore. Just vote for us. Do what you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that felt good. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you got that out. That was a good one. I'm glad you got that out. That was a good one. You know, I know that's been your crawl for a while. That's some serious gravel in my crawl. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it, it is a shame. Anyway. But still the best, <sighs> it's still the best country in the world. By far. <laughs> By far, as much as they want to poo-poo on it. Yeah. They're still here. They're still hanging around. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Hey, it's been a while since we've done the... <laughs> wow. You're Let's right. just show this tape. Yeah. Let's just, you know, su- submit it for, you know, let these people chew on this. See what you think. See what you think. What is real? Just ask the researchers who captured this video. These images have never been seen until now. The group behind it is known as the Sasquatch Genome Project. A genetic scientist, Dr. Melba Ketchum, led the effort. We just want people to understand this is a serious study. The five-year study costs more than a half million dollars, all given by businessman Adrian Erickson. You know, just, people have cho- chosen to just, they don't want to believe it, they can't find in their minds to believe these things exist. 
So the group set out to track what they call the furry people. They say they followed a mother and daughter in Kentucky and captured various images and video. These are photos of massive prints. The video is compelling, but the strongest evidence the group has is DNA it says it's collected. The group says there are thousands of these creatures in the United States, including right here in North Texas. As for the DNA, they say it is like nothing that has been seen before. This creature does not follow the general rule. What it does do is it's, it's very different. We think it is a human hybrid. That is our theory. Hybrid, they say, because some of the DNA samples sent to UT Southwestern, New York University, and the North Louisiana Crime Lab came back human, but others did not. They say the science is there, whether you want to accept it or not. You're not dealing with an animal. You're dealing with something that walks on two legs, has children, and obviously through other types of research and audio, they have a language. All signs, um, the group says, again, that Bigfoot just... is no longer a big myth. In Dallas, Shari Williams, CBS 11 News. That's it, man. Just laying it there. What do you think? I know what you think. Um, but the genome thing, man, that's that's a... a interesting theory. There has been, I mean, there's been, I know... Uh, Dr. Meldrum from up in Idaho, Jeff Meldrum, he's, he's got the uh, dermal ridges, you know, on the skin and stuff like on the feet. Some, some of the footprints have the dermal, like, like where you've got your fingerprints and stuff. Well, your feet have that too. Mm -hmm. And he also had DNA too. This is a re formerly respected anthropologist, you know, no longer respected because he's a Squatch guy. Yeah. So, and he had interesting DNA, too. So, yeah. It doesn't fit, so just deny, deny, deny. Right. Back to those leaders again. Right. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't fit our agenda. We just sweep that under the rug. Yeah. Okay. It's like that whole, you know, UFO thing. Anyway, well, we're getting on it today. I'm tired. We're getting it. on it. Grumpy guys. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we're half sick. Getting us beat down. <clears throat> hey, let's let's go to the millennial. <laughs> <laughs> let's beat up on him for a little while. Our favorite turkey. <laughs> Justin <laughs> Walden in the abuse seat when we yes. come back. <laughs> Hello, Cash Creek crew. Kimo here with a personal invitation, inviting you all to the Cash Creek Club Live Number Five, featuring Mr. Wade Hayes. We've also got R.T. Johnson, The Rollers, Tim Party, and your host and master of ceremonies, Mr. James Phillip. That's the Cash Creek Club Live Number Five at the Music City Bar and Grill, December fourth. Well, 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 look who it is. Jay Wall. Walden's here. I'm here. Justin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Walden. one and only Mr. Justin Walden. <sighs> they go crazy. Marry me, marry me. I love you. <laughs> a lot of our fans will know Justin. He's done a lot of gigs with us already. We're better band with him. Yes, sir. Not there. We're. <laughs> you gotta let me finish the sentence first, man. I'm just kidding. No, no, Justin's great, man. We we love him to death. We treat him like hell, and he keeps coming back. For Always more. busting his chops, especially mommy. Always busting his chops. I know. Justin's mommy's whipping boy. Yeah. How do you take that? It's because we love him. Well, um, Monty's a great guy. I like him. <laughs> you say that. Yeah. For so, sure. Justin, what is the story of Justin Walden? Let us know how you began, how you got here, all okay. of that good stuff. When did you start playing fiddle? When I started playing fiddle. Um, so, I started playing fiddle seriously, uh, like being really serious about it, like pra actually practicing when I was... Uh, when I was at Steve Kaufman's acoustic camp over in Maryville, Tennessee. Um, so I. How so, old were you then? Um, I think I was eleven or twelve. Mm. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit younger. That's a good age. Um, 
but uh, Bobby Hicks, who played for Ricky Skaggs for like 16 years, he was my instructor. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. And he was he was pretty hard on me, you know, trying to get all those notes right, you know, make sure the intonation's correct. So you're used everything. to it with Monty beating your balls uh, Yeah, all the yeah, time. exactly. Yeah, that's <laughs> nothing new. That's nothing yeah. new. <laughs> Boy, Bobby Hicks was, what, man, He some of the most oh yeah incredible fiddle stuff on all that Ricky Skagg mm-hmm. stuff in the 80s. That was all him, right? That was all him, yeah. Was he the big, did he bring the five string into Vogue, so to speak, or was it somebody before him? Um, he he was not the first, but he was like more the eighties, nineties. Like he was the only one who did the five string fiddle with like the low C yeah. up on the top. Won a Grammy, yeah. won a Grammy for Will Haas, right? Did Will Haas? Yeah, win a Grammy? I think so. Yeah, he he's got several. He's got eight Grammy awards from when he was with Kentucky Thunder. Wow, with Ricky Skaggs and Kentucky Thunder. Yeah. yeah. So you, man, you sat at the you sat at the foot of the master. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I was like, you know, I was this like 10, 11 year old kid. I'm like yeah. shaking, trying to you know do all these hard like riffs and stuff. Um, but like Bobby's Bobby's claim to fame, different from any other fiddle player, was that he could do all those double stops that nobody else could do, and still to this day. You know he he does does it like nobody else can. Mm-hmm. Uh, all those sliding harmonies, you know, where you're moving in two different directions. And so my I love amazing. it when yeah. when you're like checking stuff out. So I check uh-huh. you doing that slow. Rrr, I just <laughs> love that man. That's like it's, it's my highlight of the night. Then after that, it's all downhill. Yeah, it's all downhill from there. <laughs> when you start doing, like, diddly, 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 you know, what the people love. Uh, yeah, right. Because yeah. it's so hot. Because yeah. you got fingers going up. It's like, almost like a steel guitar. Yeah, that's that's what he said. There was one thing that he said in his classes when we were up there. Um, it's uh, you're going in two different directions, so it mimics the steel guitar sound. So he told the story that when he was at home, his parents would be asleep, you know, and he would hear something, and he would just take his fiddle out from under his bed, you know, and start playing these riffs because he had heard it on a Johnny Gimble album or. A, uh, Bob Wills and Texas Playboys album or something like that and he would try to mimic oh, those sounds right, right. you know from a steel guitar right. you know cool. there's there yeah. is some magic to that ascending and descending mm-hmm. notes against each other like I mean Stairway to Heaven for instance you know where everybody yeah, right. plays that guitar yeah. part they love it because it's got the bass going one way and uh-huh. then, it's just something about that that it, it, it tickles Tickles somewhere in the human brain, somewhere up there, it just makes me go woo. Because I know when you're doing those warm ups, that's what I'm doing over there, going woo. woo. Ooh, you're tickling them in the funny spot. Way to go, Justin. All right. So many have tried uh, and failed at you tickling his funny spot. Many have tried. <laughs> well I'm done. Tickler, then. Well done. He found the woo spot. No wonder he the keeps you around. <laughs> so uh, okay, twelve years old. You're 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 in there with Hicks. I'm knocking it out. Was in there, um, and we had about nine or ten, eleven people in the class. Um, and I would I would always try to reach out to Hicks outside of class because we only had like a certain number of days. It was like a two week class, but it was like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So you know Tuesday, Thursday we'd be jamming up until you know one or two a.m. You know in the dorm rooms and stuff. Because uh, we were staying on campus, but wow. you know, I would I would try to reach out to him throughout the day and ask him about you know, hey, what about this song, you know? And he would he would give me one on one feedback, very and cool. and was he was very happy to do so. You know, that wow. was really awesome. Was, there was a lot of people involved in that too. Mm-hmm. What a gift! Yeah. Um, and what's that called again? It's uh, Steve Kaufman's Acoustic Camp. Acoustic Camp in Maryville. Yeah, in Maryville, yeah. You know, and, and, and they still have it to this day every summer. How how many days? Weeks? It's um it's a two week camp, um and they have different pickers come in and different instructors every year. How cool! Yeah, and they'll they'll have guitar flat top guitar classes, banjo. Mandolin. Great opportunity. Yeah. yeah. How, how yeah, did you get? To, what made you decide? Or or did were your parents say, hey, why don't you go do this? Or? Um, my dad was a uh, played a big role in um, convincing me to 
take lessons from Bobby because he had always listened to all those Skaggs albums and he was he was like well you, you know you should try this camp out you know and he had heard of it um, and my dad's a big Steve Kaufman fan you know the flat top picker you know he mm-hmm. just won all these contests and my my dad and I used to go fish and we'd pop the Steve Kaufman CD sure. and listen to it you know so that was my dad played a big role That's yeah cool. so mm-hmm. Justin you too stuff. like many of our guests started out in a family band right I did ain't yeah. that something yeah buddy? it's mm-hmm. like I don't know how many people we've had come through <laughs> we, we were our own family band yeah 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 the, <laughs> the, the Silver Creek right yeah, yeah the Silver but, Creek guys but you know, we've had many of our guests. Yeah. That's the way they started. So you guys were you guys are pretty serious, right? I mean, you. We started. I want to say it was 2007 or 2008, and we we played for eight or nine years, about 100 150 gigs a year. Dang man! And, uh, <laughs> these, fa- these family bands are the way to go, you. man. We just work all the time. We, yeah, it was we're like th- Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then twice on Sunday usually because we would do a lot of like local churches and stuff. Right, right, yeah. Um, so yeah. that's cool. Well, yeah. let's let's talk more about that family band stuff when we come back. Be back with Jay Wall, Justin Walden. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>. <laughs> And we're back. Back with Justin Walden. For the record, this is not Carolina coffee today. This is regular coffee. Yes, it's it cold. Is. It's a cold day. And well, cheers. 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 And we're all sick. We're all sick. So you're going to get sick too. Recovering. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> feel a little tickle in my brain. No. We got the frogs. <laughs> got the Medford. I got the Medford voice going on. The Jody Medford. This guy. This guy, I tell you. So, family band running around the country, 150 dates a year. Incredible. Yeah, we were uh, we were kicking it, kicking in in the sticks, I guess, as Brantley Gilbert would say, right. mm-hmm. for um, for about eight years. We were we were doing we did a lot of churches and festivals, and we did mostly southeast, like Alabama, Tennessee, Florida. Uh, we didn't venture too much up in the northeast, but. Um, Did you ever run into Megan out there? <laughs> Megan, Megan. Oh, she's before. That was that was before you. Tiny fiddlers. About ten, uh, year, ten years before your your run. I don't think we. No, I don't, I don't remember running into. Well, if you're hitting 150 dates in Southeast, you really don't have time to head up north. Uh, no, right. <laughs> right time right, to do right. anything. Yeah, yeah. We during that time we cut, I think five or six albums. Back when back when my voice was higher than my mom's voice. Mm-hmm. So, so what does your dad and mom play? <laughs> so my mom plays electric bass, and she played bass for the band. And we had a the band started um, at my dad's job in the break room, and so a bunch of guys got in there and started picking around. And there was a guy that worked under my dad at Mayfield Dairy Farms in my hometown. He played banjo, and so my dad said, "Hey, come play banjo for the band." Mm-hmm. And my dad played guitar. And was is a songwriter. Okay. Um, and he he wrote most of our songs that we did, most of the original ones. Okay. What were you guys called? <clears throat> uh, Crystal Road, or we, you know, Crystal Road Band is what Crystal we Road eventually Road became. Band. Yeah. Ah. Crystal yeah. Road Band. How did you travel? Did you have a bus? No, we didn't have a bus. We had a we had like an Astro van once, and then we had a. What was it we had before that? We uh, we went through a couple of different vehicles. Did you ever have a station wagon? We didn't have a station wagon, though. No. That that would be the ideal <laughs> scenario. Band traveling in a station wagon. Absolutely, man. So you guys are mostly bluegrass? Is, is that what you do? Yep, bluegrass gospel uh, was no drummer. what we did. No drummer. Nope. Yeah. Just uh, just elect. It eventually became. I, I did most of the, the drummer. Probably would have tried to date your mom too, and it would have been a mess. <laughs> you probably, yeah. <laughs> you know how these drummers you know are. How these man. drummers are. 
Um, but yeah, we, you know, we had it was a three piece, and that's how we did it for the last four or five years that we were playing. Oh, so you, the banjo guy got booted. Um, he didn't get booted necessarily. He just, he had other things he wanted to accomplish. You know, he wanted to focus on. And he went on to uh, become Baylor Fleck, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, no, no. <laughs> he yeah. had other things he wanted yeah. to do. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. No, no it wasn't him. <laughs> the old Crystal Road was holding me back, yeah. Justin. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's, I, I guess it was pretty tough then. You know, you, you're making a pretty good living running up down the road. Mm-hmm. Saw it on that fiddle. Sitting on the parts, when did you decide to say, you know what, I want more? I think I'm going to Nashville. Um, that was actually last year, so I guess it's been a year and a half, two years ago. Um, I was I was down in, in the Tampa Bay area in Florida where I went to college. Okay. Um, and when did you leave the family <clears throat> band, though? When I leave, uh, I left the family band um, when I went to college. Okay. So that was 2012. I want to say. Okay, so, so pretty recent. Yeah. You got to add in there, you're doing 150 or so shows a year. Mm-hmm. And you're getting through school, obviously, yeah, well enough to exactly. graduate, go to college. Right. Yeah. Through all of this. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a lot of work, man. I mean, you don't think about it, but. Were you homeschooling? No, I went to a, <clears throat> I went to a public high, I went to a public high school in my hometown and then on the weekends, mostly is when we went out and, okay. and did the shows yeah. and stuff. Gotcha. But you still, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. doing homework on the way there, Sweet you know, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, you know, it's good stuff. So that um, you went to college, I did, and then did the family band just end or um, did, it, did it, they it, replace it did. you? It did. No, they, <laughs> they they didn't replace. There's it, no it, replacing it, Justin <laughs> Walden. Um, I don't know about that, but um, <laughs> uh, they they ended it. Yeah, my dad started pastoring a church. Um, and he still pastors a church, okay. so he focuses mostly on that. Sure. Now, yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, so he went from leading a fiddler to leading a flock. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> leading a flock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. So, and where where are they now? They're in East Tennessee. East Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. My dad, like I said, my dad pastors over there, and you know, my sister just graduated college. Your sister. Yeah. Was she in the family band? No, she wasn't. She's the mm. only one who didn't who wow. didn't take an interest in it. Yeah, she, she doesn't have the musical bug. Huh? She's going to cure cancer. Mm. She gets sidetracked with this musical <laughs> right. crap. <laughs> <laughs> Can't She's cure it. They girl. won't allow it. You know that. <laughs> Here comes the ninja. <clears throat> the ninja's coming up. The ninja. <laughs> no. There's no money in cures. We know that. Mm-hmm. It's like RT. Uh, R.T. Johnson. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Mumbo Ninja. Great guy. Well, okay, so so down there in Tampa, going to school. What you taking? What you major down there? Um, it, I majored in history. And ah, pre-law was my really? minor. Yeah, so hi- history, business, pre-law, ish. You weren't a very yeah. good student, though, were you? Um, I was a great student. Yeah. <laughs> just the application just, part. Just the that get graduating college and getting a job in that field part. That was that was the part that <laughs> yeah. I. That I was, love history. Yeah, I love history because man, that's exciting. Yeah, you just went up another notch in my book. <laughs> of course, my book don't mean crap, <laughs> but it's that's good cool. reading. We good have to. Reading. Got to remember the history, man. We do. You, that's yeah. why we keep... There he goes again. There goes the ninja. The blue ninja comic. <laughs> My microphone is right over here. So. <laughs> He's got to whisper in. <laughs> Go to Andy. There's only side notes. Okay, push your ear to the left speaker if you want to hear Monty's commentary. <laughs> Rated R. Rated R. <laughs> subliminal, subliminal messages coming through that left side. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, that's why we we continue. We keep on repeating history because we don't learn. Everybody wants to hide it and forget it. Right. You know? right. Yeah, that never happened. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wow. So so yeah, I you know I didn't. I didn't feel like that. That was where I where I needed to be. Sure, you're a musician, uh, man. You yeah. can get that out, especially yeah. the way you play. Sure. So, uh, did you finish 
up college there? Did you get your degree and everything? I did. did. Wow, yes. you hung in yeah. there all the way. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, I, fin- I finished my uh, four year degree, so I have a, a B, uh, it's been forever since I looked at it. BS, a B- Bachelor of Science right. in History. Yeah. yeah. Did you get your teaching credit, too? Um, no. That's what you can do, right? With no, history. I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then that was a good, history was a good major for, um, like poli sci type writing, mm-hmm. like you know logical analysis and yada yada yada. You yeah. can go down a rabbit trail you Shoot, know, with yeah, all that. Yeah. But yeah, how cool, man! Yeah, that's exciting, Justin. Yeah, well I done. like that stuff. Well done. I like that. Yeah, yeah. graduated. More with Justin when He's we come back. Yes, He's got a BS and BS. Yeah. <laughs> we'll that's be right low, back. That's yeah. low hanging fruit, there, Monty. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's below the ninja. Below the ninja belt. <laughs> My one temptation, the one I can't refuse. I want an only weakness in you. If you ever tell me that I have to give you up, it's just gonna kill me. Cause I can't live without your love. Justin Walden in the couch. On the couch. Well, he's actually in the couch. He's in, in the couch. Yeah, I'm you noticed it. The... <laughs> I'm in the couch. We've and looked into trying to fi- fix that. I you know, got the house Italian on the job, and if he can't fix it, nobody can. The house yeah. Italian. Can it. It's a thing now. Got it's it. just a yeah. thing. So That's right. It has to be. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're going to sit in that spot, you got to deal with it. We call it the hey. taint pusher. Because <laughs> there's a little thing in there that... <laughs> <laughs> and he what says, is? I'm the blue ninja. <laughs> Can, are we going to leave that? Are we going to leave that? Wow. What's that? That was way on over the edge. The taint? Taint pusher. Look. Isn't that isn't that a pocket on your jeans? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I got the... Uh, yep. Yeah, I feel it. Because it taint zipper and it taint leg. <laughs> so it must be a pocket. Yep. There we go. You're not buying, you guys aren't buying it, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I bet old Roy's gonna kick out that yeah, one. Though. <laughs> that must be some uh, California chemo. stuff. Do you know what the Narge is? We learned that from the T. Narge. Graham Brown. T. Graham Brown. Yes, it's 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 when your ass cracks about that part of your <laughs> pants on the top. The Narge. That's the Narge. The Narge. <laughs> Courtesy of T. Graham Brown. Okay. Don't let your nards hang out. Must be down from RFD three zero five two nine where they talk like. That. <laughs> All right, Justin. All right. No, no more taints or nards <laughs> today. So speaking of his paint, dad's a pastor, he's watching this. Yeah. You just you just finished up. He knows we're all lost. College. Mm-hmm. And uh, so. so what brings you back to Nashville? I mean, so you had. Are we there yet? yet? Are we to Nashville yet? Are we still in? We're, we just finished college. Just we're finished, we're just, just finished college. Yeah, in Florida. Um, and you're the king of Tampa. Uh, well, I I did quite a few shows in Tampa Bay, and a lot of my um, fans are down in Tampa Bay, like the people who listen to my EP and bought my EP and came to my album release party and. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are those are the people who who follow me and are still friends with me on Facebook and stuff. Hello, there. Tampa. What's up, Tampa? <laughs> so they're they're probably gonna take a look at this, but um, but yeah. So I so I did about a year and a half or so, close to two years of shows down in Tampa, doing that circuit down there. Um, and I still still go back and do shows, but um, another one of our guests was on that. Circuit for a while. Link Denton, he played all that area. For oh, you guys probably did the same thing. Does he play? Uh, what is it? What does he He's do? Acoustic guy. Acoustic guy. Yeah. So we um, we did that for like say almost two years. Um, I was teaching music lessons as well. I had about sixty students. Um, wow. I taught fiddle, banjo, mandolin, guitar. Uh, a few a few vocal students. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I stay I stay pretty busy for yeah, shoot, yeah. about yeah, sixty three years students. Sixty students. So you had you had quite a little cottage industry going there, mm-hmm. and then you said to hell with it. I I had wanted to move to Nashville or back to Tennessee, but move inside Nashville because East Tennessee is like totally different from from Nashville oh, yeah. altogether. Um, 
but I had wanted to. I had a student actually. This is how it happened. I had a student actually who told me he said I'll finance part of the way for you to go to Nashville if you will just get out of get out of Tampa and go to Nashville. A student. A student of mine. A Very fiddle. Cool. A fiddle student. Because he had he had been taking less, and he was a. Uh, an admirer of Hicks and you know Kenny Baker and Johnny Gimble and all those you know Texas swing fiddlers and everything and so that's all he wanted to learn how to play he didn't want to learn any kind of classical stuff he just wanted to learn mm. the double stops and stuff ah uh-huh. see so there's a smart dude mm-hmm. that was a smart dude right there he says I can't take over this area with Walden in my way so here's what I'm gonna do uh-huh. so he finally I didn't even see that angle uh-huh. I'm right there, Leave man. It to the ninja. <laughs> the ninja. I got to get this guy out of here. So, hey, why don't you go to Nashville? I can help you. <laughs> he is now. And the I will king take of, all of your he work. He is the king of Tampa now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's what happens when you get that old. That didn't cross my mind. Mm-hmm. That's a jaded line of thought mm-hmm. right there. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> from, the, from the ninja side. Justin's like, that was such a kind thing. He's like, no, it wasn't. That was a real <laughs> asshole thing he did. <laughs> like, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> look him back up. Yeah. See what he's doing. So you did it. You made the move. I made the move. Yeah. And uh, two weeks after at Waxy, a week and a half after I got here, I went straight on tour. Really? Very you, cool. You know who? Uh-uh. The Cash Creek. Are you boys. serious? Yeah. You were that fresh? I was that fresh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Man. I didn't realize it was that. That makes fresh. me sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we corrupted it. Because we treated you like a jaded old pro. I didn't know you were fresh fresh white eyed. Fresh meat. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. Week man. and a half in, yep. Wow. Well, that's right, because because Chris Latham, our our dear friend, brought him to church. Mm-hmm. One morning, Sunday, I said, I got this boy you I want there. you to meet. I was there mm-hmm. and we hung out and talked. And I told him, Well, you know, um, I, I ought to get your number because oh, you never know. Gig. You never know how these things happen. I mean, we, right. we, get, we get gigs and then all of a sudden somebody cancels. And it was like the next day I said, Hey, remember what I said about that? Right. <laughs> you never know how these things that, happen. That I think never, it was the day of. And that was like, That, that never day. happens, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. All of a sudden, Walden's. <laughs> You, you meet guys who come down, yeah, man, I'll usually, you'll never hear from them again. Uh-huh. You know, but not us. No. I called you that day. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was that evening or the next morning. Yeah, yeah. It was sight un- unheard that we hired you, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We didn't care. We don't care. <laughs> I'm highly recommended by Chris Latham. That's I don't, right. It doesn't matter from there. That's stamp of approval. If Chris says he's a Chris good boy, then yeah. he's a good boy. And he was right again. Chris won't lead you astray. Mm-mm. Not a nicer man in the world. No. Oh, he's a great guy, mm-hmm. Chris Latham. Yes, he's a For he sure. has a bad judge of friends though because he hangs out with us. He <laughs> but he has their dark sides. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's very cool. So yeah. then we were kind of your your christening. Yeah. To Nashville. Yeah. Be wow. very very careful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had a great time. Where was that? The South Dakota run? That was the South Dakota run. Oh my yeah, god! Yes, yeah, yeah, that wow, was. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. Yeah, and the Kansas time. City. Yeah, Kansas yeah. City, and then yeah. South Dakota. Yeah, we kept, in a in a van. We kept calling you that damn millennial. <laughs> damn millennial. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why we bust his chops. It's just that of love. Hmm. Um, Come on, because man. You, you bailed us out, man. You yeah. you say you carried the water for us, man. What Tore happened it up to too. That? Why did why couldn't Roller do that? There was something something came up, right? He had. To, I think he was with Pickler. Was it a Pickler day? Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Kelly Pickler. Yeah. So but, yeah, man. I mean, he no. came out and just tore it. Just up. killed it, what? man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we, fiddling we, the heck out of it. We of course, he went and picked up the guitar, and we went, oh. Justin's a 
Fantastic for that. Yes. Are you going to fiddle a little for us today too? A little bit later. Uh, probably will. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll probably break it out That's and right. do some stuff. Yeah, but you got to do those those slow things too that I love so oh, much. I Just start, the, I, 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 I think I think I think I think I'll do it now. You know the secret. Anytime I start giving you crap, just go. So when we come back, let's talk Walden Music Group. Okay. Because yeah, you got good. that going on here in town now. Yeah, I do. All right. Yep. Justin, Sounds when good. we come back. Well, it's always thirsty weather, wherever or whenever. Neither rain or ice or dark or nice is going to keep us from our rain. When it's hot, we need a cold one. When it's cold, we want a warm up. Yeah, Mother Nature is always in our food. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> well, this is regular coffee. Good heavens. Yeah. I think Chemos has got espresso in it or something. Oh, yeah. Espresso. Espresso. It's, you know, when you're expressing the breast milk. That's, that's the only thing I use in my coffee. That's the first thing I thought of. Yeah. Breast a, milk. A Nairobi woman's yeah. breast milk. She's got to be from Nairobi, though. Nairobi. <clears throat> yeah. There's a certain there's a certain element in the in the in the lactation process. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to get it all done right now. Uh, wow. <laughs> well, Walden Music Group. Welcome to the couch, Walden. <laughs> I'm glad to be Talk here. Talk about absolutely my Roby breast milk in our coffee. She's just back there if you want if you, if you like to see She's her. in the massage room. <laughs> in the massage room. Yeah, Walden Music. What exactly is that, buddy? So the idea came for Walden Music Group um, based on, because I mentioned earlier that my dad and I and mom and all of us had a band. You know, we had this other guy, and then he eventually left. So we, we did the last six years of just us. So a lot of a lot of it was based on carrying on that, family name yes, sort of yes. thing and and keeping it like in the family I guess which kind of sounds cliche but you know that's that was my thought behind it and also just the like different facets of it you know because my dad played guitar um, well I thought and, what a coincidence the name of your school is your last name I thought that was brilliant mm, wow yeah yeah it, you know dripping with sarcasm as I say that <laughs> So, <laughs> <I know. Aww. laughs> these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys. So yeah, no, we're we're really proud of you, Justin. Honestly, with, with all crap, bull yeah, crap yeah, aside, yeah. we're really proud you. of you. Yep. You're doing great, man. So, you, uh, you're doing. I, I noticed you had some Facebook stuff going on too, like some Facebook Live. Is it teaching? Starting a new series, right? Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of both. So okay. um, it's going to be some teach because I have I have a lot of lessons like on my YouTube channel, um, and like since I've been doing YouTube, I've had like fifty thousand views or something like that over the last four or five years. Fantastic. Um, so people will go on there and a lot of it's hick stuff that, that I learned, you know, are you giving it away? Um, some of it is like little snippets and then they can head over to my website and a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, does know you're giving away his secrets? Um, I, I think he's seen some of my videos. Yeah. Cause, cause, um, I did a, I did a video of uncle Penn Mm-hmm. Like the the little intro, you know the G, the Lester flat G run thing, and then then it starts in on the. So I I did like a little snippet of that, and another fiddle player like that I taught. He was actually my student down in Florida. I taught that, and then he, so he posted a video of him doing that on online somewhere. Actually, it was on my fiddle maker's YouTube page because my fiddle maker has like. A little over a thousand subscribers. Okay. And he sells fiddles all over the country. But anyway, so Hicks, 
I guess, saw that, and Hicks goes, well, that's not right. That's not exactly how I did it. You know, <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, it was just nice. really funny because yeah. I could just see, you know, and imagine him saying that because yeah. he was always like, oh, that's not right. Back it up, do it again. Yeah, you know? yeah. very cool. <laughs> but, yeah, so. Nice, man. So it was, uh, that, it was that same student, right, that said, hey, why don't you go to Nashville? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 no, it was a different one. Oh, <laughs> funny thing stuff. about those, those, um, those YouTube how to's so many mm. of them are not correct you know what i mean when, mm. right, when jackson right. first, first started playing you know yeah, he, yeah. he'd show me and then he got to to the point where he'd show me the video he said is this right and I go, okay that's right yeah so then yeah, yeah exactly that. yeah but so much of that stuff you know you give a guy a, a telephone and a youtube channel and <laughs> thinks yeah. he's it's Jimmy like Page. history you know it, it, it Gets so things get overlooked and it becomes the new truth. Right, right, right exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it becomes trendy. Yeah, it's like no, this is not how you play that. That is not. So, how, how many students do you have? How do they find it? How you know what what's the? Here I am. I want to play fiddle, Justin. I want to, and I want to find the the Walden Music Group to okay. show me how to do it. What do I do? Okay, so so they can they can do they can view the free videos because I post a lot of lesson videos on my YouTube page, which and is that's what just, you, Justin Walden Music. Justin Walden Music mm-hmm. is the YouTube page, yep. right there. That's that's, that's <laughs> that that's where I'm going to put the thing. Okay, um, Justin Walden Music YouTube. That's YouTube, and then if they want to purchase like a detailed lesson where I go up close, you know, with two cameras and show them the left hand, show them the right hand, then that can be at my website, which is also Justin Walden Music. It's justinwaldenmusic.com. Dot com. Dot com. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And um, what would you charge for something like that? Um, I have a different tier level. So I just started doing that actually this, this past fall. Um, because I was doing it a, in a different way, but the website, like geeky, nerdy, like side of like the computer based stuff changed. So, so I do it like a tier system. So it, any, anywhere from like, they can do like a per month kind of thing ah. where they, where they sign up for one of my tiers is <coughs> they'll get all, all of the lessons through that I post throughout the year. Plus they'll get like one Skype lesson with me per month. Nice. And that's a certain price. Yeah. And the next tier is a different price where they get more. They get two Skype lessons and all the videos I post yeah. online every Very cool. every Very year. Cool. And yeah. that's all. You can find that all at justinwaldenmusic.com. Yes. They can. Classical? Any classical stuff or all fiddle? Um, it's mostly fiddle stuff. Okay. Fiddle, banjo, mandolin, um, electric guitar. Yeah. Very yeah. cool, man. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Real proud of you, man. So what's your Facebook uh, live thing going to be? Is it is it is it purely teaching or are you talking about your stuff or what? You no. Uh, so the Facebook live is I don't want to give too much of it away because I haven't. Okay, we'll haven't, just, te- just tease it. Little little chumlets, I guess. Okay, um, yeah. But it's going to be a combo of you know cover songs, original tunes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pop on there you know probably every week and. And give give something for people to listen to. You know, it's not always oh. going to be it's not always going to be teaching. It's, it's not a lesson. Okay. Yes. Sometimes it might be like maybe once a month or what. I might do like a shameless promo or something. Sure. But most of the time, it's just going to be. You know what though? Your students yeah. they want to see you cut loose once in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. For you know sure. What I mean, I, I get get that a lot to to show that yes, some some of those that teach can't. Yeah. Be, you know. Yeah. Because sure. yeah, yeah. Yeah. in the live exactly. application, yeah. they want to see you go yeah. freaking yeah. tear it up. Right. So yeah, yeah. That's exactly. Cool, yeah. 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 So I can I can learn how to do that. He's doing that right there, like like look at that. Right. Right. Yeah, that's cool, man. In fact, let's get to a little bit of that yeah. after this break. Absolutely. Tear it up, brother. Yeah, boy. Saw, <laughs> Saw on it. Yes. All right, we'll be right back. Justin, before we begin, do me a little bit of that stuff. <laughs> well, uh, 
the warm up that stuff. Do that warm up stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's that they can't take that away from it. <laughs> That's actually an old Hank Williams song. That was the key of C. Yeah. On the yeah. fiddle. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're breaking your bow. Yeah, already. I know. Next thing you know, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nicely done, buddy. Hey, hit that big mom one time. Big mom? Are we in G or A? A, A for big mom, yeah. Hit it hard. Ludicrous speed. Ludicrous? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Justin Wild, no, just justinwaldenmusic.com and you can play just like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's money well spent, folks. If you get on over there. Not see done, brother. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. good times. <laughs> what are we talking about? Cashcreekband.com. Yeah, man. Spiffy new website. It's slick. Thanks to our buddy Sean. You can get everything Cash Creek there. Let that be your starting point when you go exploring around the world of Cash Creek. Absolutely. You can even get to YouTube channel from that website right there. And you can catch up on all of our fabulous Cash Creek Club. That's right. <laughs> Podcast webisode thingmadingies. That's Cash Creek Band. Band. Dot com. Dot com, that's right. See you there. Yeah. Oh, Woo. that was some back work. That was. Woo. That was yeehaw. Good stuff, man. Boy, sauce on that thing, man. Got hairs on the floor. I'm just getting I think so. Down there. Just went for it right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Saw the crud out of that thing. You know what, Monty? This whole time with... I know I might have seemed a little distracted the whole time Justin was here. And I was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me explain. Let me explain further. I was thinking about, you know, your rant in the first thing. And I've come to the conclusion, if you would leave social media... Oh, as you have. I think you would find... More peace. Mm. You will center yourself. A little more zen. In oh, your I have world. peace. We cultivate peace in this. We do cultivate peace. We are peace Cash cultivators. Um. It's like that's. It's like that's the way the world comes in to you. Because we never. You know, the only thing that's on our TV is NASCAR, football, and sprint cars. Right. And that's the window to the world. I know. It sneaks in and goes. I know, but our world relies on that social media now. Right. Mm-hmm. Our true world relies on that. So true, and someone needs to take someone the has hits. to be there to monitor the stupidity in this world now. Get it, get it, boy, get it. <laughs> no. I already went there. I, I already went there. I it know. is a shame though about San Francisco, a once beautiful, great, great city. It's one of the most beautiful and cities. It's in the it's world. wild, wild west now. I love the thing is that you can be a dude. Drop your trowel. Take a big old steamer right there on the sidewalk. Right. Walk away like nothing. Walk your dog. Your dog Walk leaves your a dog little in that pile. Park. You better have a plastic baggie Ooh, with you or you're, you're going in to trouble. get fined. This is true, correct? Absolutely I mean, true. We're not just speaking. No, this, that's a law. It's, it's madness. That I mean, is think a law. about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's madness. It, it, it is. It, it truly is. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sorry, we're off on this. It's yeah. yeah. It's just some days, man. Some days it just yeah. You, you can't turn turn a blind eye anymore. It's just absurd. Too many blind eyes have been turned, which is what got well, us here. Yeah, that's why they're running amok. But eventually, you know, the game's rigged, and you just got to find your peace. Yeah. And we find our peace in having people like Justin Walden come and yeah. play Uncle Pan for that's us. That's it, man. <laughs> that's why we do this. This show is our it's our peace. And we hope y'all are finding some. And we'd like some, to share our peace with you right. all. <laughs> A little piece of the rock. <laughs> that's right. We are Dearly gathered here. Piece of the rock. Dearly beloved. Dearly beloved. Well, that's number 22, brother. I yes, feel pretty is. good about it. Yes, it is. I'm excited. Um, Wade Hayes is coming to our show, our club. That's right. In a couple of weeks. Actually, it's oh, a man. week away. Folks, Wade is one of the sweetest, most gentle people you'll ever meet in your entire life. What a great dude. So excited to have him on. Um, it's going to be a blast. Yeah. He's in his set list too, right? It's, yeah, we've we got, got his tunes. Old Enough to Know Better. We got uh, On a Good Night. Yeah, I'm Still Dancing. I'm Still Dancing yeah. with You. What a great song. And uh, Don't Stop. Yep, yep. Um, and... Uh, 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 oh, uh, leave, leave. in a Chevy, in yeah. a hurry, in, in a, a pouring down, down rain. rain. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good uh, stuff. 90s fans. Wade Wade was the dude. So. Oh, man. And he still is. 
And what he's been through, what a story. I wish we could get him on the couch. His schedule probably wouldn't allow for this much time. But, uh, man, I love Wade. Got a lot of love for Wade. Yeah. Yeah. And thank goodness Link's not going to be there this time. (laughs) Uncle Nemo will not be involved. Uncle Nemo will not be there. Oh. Whew. (laughs) He really sucked at Richie's. He had a bad night. <laughs> Thanks for the info, Link. <laughs> oh, oh, Nemo. Oh, uh, yeah. You know he's just dying inside because he he failed. Yeah. 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 But yeah, hey. He gave us the wrong key. Uh, it's only a half a step. Song. Yeah, what's a half step amongst friends? You can transpose in 30 seconds, no problem. If, if you're a pro. <laughs> Or like Rob, you just hit the old transpose button. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Cheater, cheater, cheater. It's a good thing though because I would have been tough on poor Robbo if you didn't have that transpose yeah. button. Because he and he learned it the hard way though. He learned it in E flat, all them black keys. Yeah. And then Richie did it in D, in D. which would have been a lot easier to learn. A lot of more white keys, but yeah, man, mm-hmm. you can't transpose that on the piano that quickly in your tough. brain. It's tough. Tough. So and Rob killed it. Yep. Yeah. Rob Jess killed it. Yes, he did. Oh, Robbo. He's going to be there for Wade, too. You'll be there for Wade. Uh, hey, we got Kay- hey. Kaylee Starr coming to town Kaylee next week. Kaylee Starr, yeah. Next week. Oh, we we, we, we got to get the word out. Monday, Kaylee Starr is going to be at uh, Douglas, Douglas Corner. Yep. And Tuesday at 3rd and Lindsley. 3rd and Lindsley. The heralded venue here in town. 3rd and Lindsley. That's right. And this is a special deal to... Um, for Cash Creek, because our, our 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 Jimmy will not be in this this run. Oh, Blaylock won't be here. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Right. We got yeah. we got Tilly. We got Chuck Tilly. Only because he Top was able to Tilly. book the gig. <laughs> Top down Tilly. Top down Tilly. I guess we'll suffer through. We'll we'll be, yeah, I yeah. Know. it's not Jim, but he's no Blaylock. I know. <laughs> it's not going to be the same. <laughs> Yeah. So Kaylee's coming to town. I yeah, think we're going to so, get her on this here couch too. Well, we here. we invite y'all to, to come on out. Be, I think both shows are at six o'clock. Uh, again, that's Monday. This coming Monday, twenty seven. Is that what date it is? No, I think it's the twenty fifth. I think it's the twenty fifth and twenty sixth of the two dates. Is that right? Monday and Tuesday. Right. Monday at Douglas Corner Cafe, and then the Tuesday at Third and Lindsley downtown. Miss Kaylee Star. Yeah. Kill it. It's going to be fun. To yeah. Have little showcase sets. So up close and personal. Look forward to having her back around. Hey, we've seen her for a while. Miss our girl. Yep. She she's found, she found old Ryan and just ain't got no time for us. I know. She didn't call us anymore. Too busy being in love. I was too busy being in love. Doug Stone Let's returns go, again. Man. <laughs> Comes back. It's a callback. Got a pep. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I was too busy being in love. Yes, I was too busy being in love. <laughs> Doug Stowe did 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 mention yeah. us on Twitter yeah. after the last one. Uh, he did. Oh but, boy. Yeah. 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 That was all right. Yeah. <laughs> was all right. We were not, we were not very kind, but. We just know too much, that's why. Yeah, but we still love him. We still love Doug, Big fan man. of Doug Stone. What, what a great singer. What a great yeah. songs. He's yeah. part of our, our, our life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, that's it. We're, at, we're, we're rambling now. We, we are. Have, we have a rant clock. Now we need a rambling clock. We need a clock. ramble clock, yeah. <laughs> Old guys, shut up. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that's 22 in the can. 22 in the can. Hmm? Say bye, Monty. Bye, Monty. Hey, pour, pouring us out. <laughs> we gone. <laughs>